What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic and more. One more time for the one time we grinding. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Y'all know we working. And um, shout out to Jamal James. Got the knockout at home in front of the Minneapolis, Minnesota crowd. And I believe uh, Jamal James, who was ranked higher than Josito Lopez, who was rumored to be Keith Thurman's tune-up comeback fight, if that ever happens, um, I think Jamal James should be able to get to get the Keith Thurman fight. I know he lost to Yugas really, really bad. According to Corey Lee, it wasn't even close. But I think, you know, he won. He had four fights since the Yugas lost. And I believe that, you know, he should get a crack at Keith Thurman. He's rated highly in the WBA rankings. I think he rated like four. Lopez is rated seven somehow. And uh, he's been making noise. He stopped Diego Chavez. You know, he beat his opponent yesterday. And he had a few wins. And I think he's a viable opponent for Keith Thurman. Not saying that, excuse me, not saying that he would beat Keith Thurman. But I think he deserves the opportunity. And he's not a, a super high risk. You know what I'm saying? He is 6'2". He tall. He long. He presents an issue, but at the end of the day, Keith Thurman doesn't deserve a cupcake, even if he's going to be the co-feature or undercard to another card. You know what I'm saying? He don't deserve to be a, a, a super cupcake, and I don't think Jamal James is a super cupcake. I think he's a good fighter. He's learning. He's honing his skills, and I believe it'll be a formidable fight for Keith Thurman and giving the young fighter Jamal, well, not really young fighter Jamal James. He's 30, but give a little unknown fighter opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I think he's been active. Um, he been fighting good competition for you know for his level, and he he got better since losing to your your Dennis Yugis, all right. And I know Keith Thurman doesn't want to come back versus your Dennis Yugis, you know what I'm saying? So why not come back versus Jamal James? I think it's attractive. Uh, PBC has been putting money into Jamal James. He's been on FS1 the last couple times, I believe. So why not give him opportunity to cash in on those momentum that he that that he's fighting that you know that he's gained so far? I'm not saying that. Fight him in Minneapolis. I mean, I mean, just give him an opportunity. I think that's better than Josito Lopez. When I say that Keith Thurman coming back versus Josito Lopez, who I don't think is a half bad fighter, a lot of people just you know they they don't like it. You know, so I did threw the, uh through this out there. So how would y'all like Keith Thurman to come back versus Jamal James? I mean, why not? He has been fighting. He has been active. He has been on TV. He has been proving himself. He's been getting better. He's the hone his skills. He got a little crowd. He got a little fan base at the crib in Minneapolis. Uh, so why not go ahead and have Keith Thurman get his dude a spin? I think it just makes sense. And it might it might be too right for boxing. It might make too much sense for boxing. Because that, and quite frankly, man, nobody checking for, for Josito Lopez no more. Everybody remember him for getting beat like seven, ten times. But he a tough fighter. You know, he tough fighter. He can crack a little bit. People remember him getting knocked out by Canelo. But he had the balls to move up from 140 and move up to 47 to turn around and fight Canelo at 154 because the money was right, all right? But I would prefer Jamal James to get his shot, you know, at Keith Thurman. And, um, you know, Keith Thurman might deem him too dangerous. Like he was deeming coming back versus Jesse Vargas too dangerous. I didn't think that was too dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Jesse Vargas can't punch. He's a good fighter, but he can't punch. And if you can't punch, one time can run through you. But he's shown to be a little bit uh, tentative or timid versus Leonard Bundini Bundle, who couldn't punch. But he was switch hitting, keeping Keith Thurman off balance. But like I said, I think Jamal James deserves a Keith Thurman fight before Josito Lopez. I think the fans deserve a Jamal James versus Keith Thurman fight over Josito Lopez versus Keith Thurman fight. And that's my personal opinion. I don't know how many people are going to agree or disagree. I know a lot of people want Keith Thurman to jump back in the fire like me. Oh, go ahead and go ahead and fight Earl or fight the winner Danny Sean next or fight Crawford next. And that should be it. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't deserve a tune up as long as he's been on inactive as inactive has. has oh, excuse me, as inactive as he has been. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, that was tough to say. But he's been very inactive. He fought once in 2016, once in 2017. He hasn't fought yet this year. If he fights this year, that's three times in three years he fight. That's just not going to cut it. He shouldn't even be able to hold the WBA belt, in my opinion. But, like I said, you know, he should have to jump back into the fire versus the elite what's away. You know, you've been boxing your whole life, Keith Thurman. Why do you need a tune-up? You know what I'm saying? That's just my personal opinion. You know, you get them reps in sparring anyway. All these dudes... Instead of fighting four or five times a year, all these dudes rep up and sparring anyway. So they start sharp with sparring where the old school fighters, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they stay sharp, um, you know, fighting. You know, that's how they stay sharp. But it's the boxing clinic and more. If you want to join that boycott group, go ahead and hit the, the uh, links in the description. We boycott Sean and Danny Garcia. We're going to stream it in the, uh, in the group. 
Also, we're going to be reviewing classical fights, streaming classical fights, and having a watch party there. You know, whatever fight deems to need to be boycott, shout out to the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We on there as well. If you want to donate, the PayPal link is in the description. Shout out to everybody that does donate. If you can't donate, or Super Chats as well. Thanks for that. If you can't donate, Super Chats or PayPal, go ahead and share, retweet it out, share the page with a friend. I definitely appreciate it. Much blessings to all the brothers out there that support the Boxing Clinic and more. Peace, love, and y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. We gone.